Del Mar College's Hall of Fame represents a distinguished group of students whose leadership skills and academic standards are officially recognized by the college. Their framed photographs and list of achievements are displayed in the Harvard Student Center. Some of the amazing students you'll find at Del Mar now. I'm Amy Mintz, an Associate Professor of Child Development Early Childhood at Del Mar College. Three of the six 2017 Del Mar College Hall of Fame inductees are with us. We'll speak to biology major Kenneth McGraw, as well as Susan Samoyoa, a mechanical engineering major. We'll also meet Carl Matthew Valerdi. He is also a biology major. A Del Mar Now update will be presented by the radio and television students. We've got some amazing students to meet, so stay right here. This is Del Mar Now. Our first guest is a Del Mar College biology major. He's recently been inducted to Del Mar College Hall of Fame. He's a member of the Phi Theta Kappa, the National Society of Leadership and Success. Some of his activities include the Natural Science Poster Session and the Texas Branch American Society for Microbiology. Some of his honors include the President's List, the Dean's List, and Who's Who among American community colleges. Please welcome Kenneth McGraw. Hi, Kenneth. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Okay, biology major. You don't hear this very often. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, why did you become a biology major? Well, I kind of fell in love with the sciences growing up in high school. I took a basic biology course and I took a couple zoology courses, even went through AP biology my senior year. And then I had a sports injury. I dislocated my knee twice. Um, I met up with an orthopedic surgeon and that just kind of like blew my mind. And so I'm actually on the pre-med track. And so going through biology, it was either that or chemistry. And Chemistry is okay, but biology is way better. <laughs> okay, so real life experiences and kind of pushed you into this major because you're going to go on, oh, obviously, yeah. yes. way on. Yes. <laughs> um, well, congratulations on, again on the Hall of Fame award. What does Thank this mean you. for you? It's an honor. I mean, I've always been one to be a hard work. I mean, you can ask my friends and family. I, you know, sometimes work two jobs and go to school full time. So wow. it's like trying to do all that and then actually seeing some sort of benefit out of it. I mean, actually being acknowledged for doing my good job, like it's amazing. And everyone tells me, we're so proud of you, we're so proud of you. But this is something that, you know, I had to apply for. I got nominated and put in the work and the effort myself to actually reach it. I mean, when they, they told me I got in, oh, you should have seen me. I was kind of, <laughs> kind of jumping around like a fool, but it was, I was so proud and I'm so happy and so honored. Well, was there anybody or any person or a professor or a friend's family that really helped you along the way? Um, honestly, a lot of everyone. Um, I'm one that I try to do it all by myself and sometimes I can't ask for it. And that's when my advisor steps in and she says, Kenny, you know, you can't take five classes and work full time and have a personal life at home as well. She goes, tone it back a little bit. It might not get it done as fast as what you want, but you'll still get it done. Uh, my family has always been there to support me. Um, they've been the ones that have been there when I say, guys, just leave me alone. I need to study. Right. They listen. <laughs> so <laughs> it's great. And, and I, I can't thank them all more than enough for everything that they've done for me. Well, you know, you bring up a good point of learning how to, to manage things. Mm -hmm. You know, all of our at Del Mar College, I hear so many people, they're juggling so many balls yeah. with of life and family, of career already and, and going mm -hmm. to school. and. And I will say, no one has ever really looked at your resume and said, you know what, I think you spent too long in college. I don't, I'm not going to give you that job. You know what I mean? So, But doing it well and doing it right and not overloading yourself probably mm -hmm. is a very big, important variable that a lot of people may not think about. It is. And, it, and it's hard because, I mean, I'm a, I'm a non-traditional student. I went to college straight out of high school and tried the first time and I failed. And if you look at my transcript, it's kind of like night and day from when I first started <laughs> to when I got back into it. And it's amazing just taking a little bit of time off to kind of get your gears going right in the right direction right. and focusing and, and buckling down. And, and of course, being a little older and more mature kind of helps too, but it's it's amazing. And I, I was pleased to myself with just the abrupt change and, and just taking that time out. What well, do you think it really was just age that made that abrupt change happen? Or was it mm -hmm. something in particular or? What kind of a little bit of both. Okay. Um, I mean, I was 21 when I first dropped out of school. I started back right when I was 25. And a two-year degree took me three years to get done. And at first, I was a little upset about it. But when I realized that, 
you know, taking your time and doing things right instead of not. <laughs> right. It makes a huge difference. And being older, more mature definitely helped. It was a lot easier to say no going out and hanging out with friends on the weekend instead of staying at home and, you know, doing lab reports or studying. So <laughs> it, that age did help. Right. Well, you were, you know, the natural science poster session. And so you, you're used to research or you've gotten your foot in the door with some research. How, you know, how, what was your experience like doing research? Um, it was an eye opener. I had a friend that she said, Kenny, you should really take this, this biology. It's a, it's a phage program. And I'm like, what's a phage? I can never even heard of that. Mm -hmm. And she tells me a little bit about it and I get in there and it's so hands on. And I mean, being a, like learning different ways, hands on is by far the best way. Yes. Um, I had never really dealt with, you know, like petri dishes and, and uh, doing micro pipettes and cereal dilutions and all this stuff and I got exposed to that like from day one you know we had to go out and collect our own dirt sample and try and isolate a bacteriophage and I spent an entire semester doing that then I spent the next semester annotating the genome of that and it was just like wow it's crazy. And it like, was real. Yeah, and it was just <laughs> from one course, and and that's and it, that's what it was like. Man, Delmar is really freaking cool. Like, it's just the fact that we have these resources at a community college is just phenomenal, and I loved it. You know, we're glad you had these experiences, but I think you have a long road ahead of you. So, what's your ultimate goal? Ultimately, I would like to become an orthopedic surgeon. I haven't decided on if I want to just be a physician in a practice or if I want to run my own practice. Um, my other half is more into the business side of things, so maybe he'll run the business and I'll do the medicine side. Um, but I love it. I love sports. I love fixing things and helping people. Not to mention, you know, doing a little bit of surgery and seeing how the inside of the body works is pretty cool. Definitely. <laughs> well, congratulations again on your award. Thank you so much. It's time for a break, but we've got more Hall of Fame inductees to meet, so don't go away. Quit dreaming of a better job. Go get it. Our region is buzzing with investment from international companies, all looking for skilled workers in industrial trades. Process techs, operators, welders, machinists, Del Mar College has the hands-on programs and training you need to get in, get out, and get into the workforce. Great salaries and excellent benefits are just a click away. Get started at delmar.edu. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. Our next guest is a Delmar College of Mechanical Engineering major, a member of Phi Theta Kappa, the Ambassadors Club, SEMO, and the Biology and Health Club. Some of her on-campus activities include graduation assistant, DMC cleanup, Discover Delmar. Some of her honors include the President's List, Who's Who Among American Junior Colleges, NASA Intern, and the Viking Volunteer Award. Please welcome Delmar Now College Hall of Fame inductee, Susan Samoyoa. Hi, well thanks for being with us. Hello. Um, all right, so mechanical engineering, and hats yes. off to you for being a female in an engineering field. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Which we don't see very often, no. but I'm so glad to see this. What made you decide on that major? Well, I've always wanted, always dreamed of becoming an engineer. Since I was little, Legos was my thing. Like Yay. I just like love <laughs> connects, Legos, all that stuff. Whenever I put stuff together, seeing it complete, made me feel so proud. And it, was, it wasn't until I started getting into high school that I was just like, I want to apply this in the real world and what type of uh, career can I actually do that in? And I've always had a passion for, for space and for science and putting those two together. I mean, engineering's the way to go. <laughs> and um, I found a deep love for, and passion for, uh, for space. And whenever it came to that, uh, the top of the tier, for working in engineering and space together as NASA, so NASA has been my dream. 
Well, mm -hmm. you interned there, so yeah. that's quite impressive, actually. Thank you. Not, not a lot of college students have that on their resume, yeah, so congratulations <laughs> also you. to that, too. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Um, well, it sounds like you have uh, big dreams ahead of you. So yes, tell you. us, where do you see yourself in five years from now? Five years from now, after Delmar, I plan on transferring to Kingsville. After Kingsville, go to UT, get my Bachelor's of Science from there. And in five years, fast forward, I just want to be working with NASA and um, have really got into real world situations, working on projects, working as a team, hopefully being a project engineer uh, and be able to put those designs and concepts into real life. And then from there, grow and hopefully become, um, have my own company one day and not only have it geared to aerospace, but actually become a contractor for all different types of engineering industries and being able to be in different projects like globally right. and being able to see my projects uh, expand and go into space or just be utilized all over the world. You know, and people, when you think of NASA, they think astronaut, but there's so much oh, to no. it. Oh, no, right. so, yes. Yes, there's yes. so much behind the scenes or yes. all the tools and training and prep needed just to get someone to space. And yes, so, it's a lot of work. Yeah, and definitely. It, and the thing I love the best about it is the teamwork that goes into it all. I mean, you have to really be able to be um, to deliberate and be able to be really uh, have good communication skills and that's another thing I've been working on throughout my time at Del Mar and it's really benefited me a lot and in my internships I was the project engineer for my NASA internship which definitely made me uh, a lot stronger leader. Well besides communication and teamwork skills that you gained practice through with Del Mar, mm -hmm. um, do you think anything else at Del Mar has helped you prepare for your future? Oh yes, definitely. Um, it's definitely given me a great foundation as far as knowing um, what my limits are as far as <laughs> like, okay, I need to take it back. I need to grow. I need to set it up a little bit higher when it comes to math or when it comes to graphics. And whenever you need that extra time and the extra uh, help and assistance, Delmar was there for me as far as like the professors go and having different tutors that are able to and ready to help you. And that's definitely made me into a lot stronger student. Um, well, what activities did you participate in while you were a ma major or a member of the Phi Theta Kappa? Uh, Phi Theta Kappa, I'm proud to say that I was part of two of the really most, uh, the biggest things I liked there was whenever we did a water panel. Um, so basically what we did is we got different uh, chemists, different people that work in the water industry, get them together and talk about Corpus Christi's infrastructure and how exactly does it work and compare it to other counties in the area um, when it comes down to one of the biggest um, Situations when it comes down to corpus is our water and what kind and what <laughs> I exactly, don't think anyone would disagree with you on that one <laughs> and what exactly impacts that water and so doing that and really learning more about the infrastructure from like Dr. Klein who's history a historian at Del Mar mm -hmm. and different chemists ones uh, some that work in um, Gregory Portland getting together and really asking the questions that no one really gets answers to so that was awesome and then also we had our Phi Theta Kappa regional convention here and. And it was great to be surrounded by a bunch of different students in the state of Texas who also are trying to get that extra umph when it comes to their um, student career and their future career right. because they want to grow into stronger leaders as well. Well, it sounds like you had a lot of experience with the teamwork and communicating yeah. through all your activities. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> well, thanks again for chatting with us and yeah. congratulations again on your Thank award. Thank you so much. Students in the radio and television program are up next with the Del Mar Now update. After that, we'll meet another of the six Del Mar College Hall of Fame inductees. We'll be right back. Get Del Mar College information right in the palm of your hand using Viking Go. Viking Go is Del Mar College's mobile app full of useful college information you can access on your cell phone or tablet. Choose from 13 active modules from the menu. You can even access Del Mar College social media feeds. Viking Go is available on Google Play and the Apple App Store for your phones and tablets. Stay on the go with Viking Go. Start using Viking Go today. I used to dream. 
I was using my talents to drive me forward. Today, I am. Go from I dream to I am Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Welcome to this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Priscilla Witten. And I'm Alicia Nieto. The annual recognition day for the Del Mar College once again honored outstanding students and faculty. Six students were named to the Hall of Fame. 35 students were recognized as the inductees to who's who among community college students. Named to the Hall of Fame at the 66th annual recognition ceremony were speech major Majory, Bryant Sparrow, RTV major, Brittany Claremont, journalism digital media major Megan Falcone, biology major Kenneth McGraw, mechanical engineering major Susan Samoya, and biology major Carl Val Valderity. The 2017 Teachers of the Year were also announced. Professor of Biology Bob Long was named the East Campus Teacher of the Year. Associate Professor of Occupational Safety Glenn Ellis and Professor of Physical Therapist Janice Springer were named the West Campus Teachers of the Year. A member of a local architectural firm was the semester's commencement speaker. Elizabeth Chu Rector had the privilege of addressing hundreds of Del Mar College graduates at the American Bank Center. Rector is the Chief Executive Officer of Rector Associates. She and her husband, David Rector, have been involved with numerous projects on the Del Mar College campuses. Some of the buildings include the Fine Arts Center, Music and Art, the Garcia Sciences Building, and the Health Sciences Emerging Technology Complex. Rector has served as the National President of the American Institute of Architects. She believes in the power of architecture to impact lives and elevate the human spirit. An NPR program, The Shape of Texas, was created and co-produced by Rector. Del Mar College now has a mascot. The unnamed Viking mascot was unveiled April 27th during a pep rally-like appearance. The design of the mascot has been in the works for months. Raymond Entertainment worked with college officials in the development. Raymond created the Philly Fanatic, the official mascot for the Philadelphia Phillies baseball team. Del Mar College has had the Viking name since 1939. Developing a strong image for alumni and current students was the goal of the current design. Del Mar doesn't field competitive sports teams, but the mascot is to build a presence on campus and off campus. Planned activities will include visiting the students from elementary schools to high schools. If you've noticed, there has been no name for the mascot except the Viking. They're actually going to have a competition later on to give it a name. An endowed scholarship fund for GED students is now fully funded. The Jean and Ellen Seaman GED scholarship reached the $100,000 mark with the final gift from the Siemens on April 10th. The fund was established in 2006. The Siemens provided $5,000 $5, annually with five $700 scholarships, awarded each year and the remaining $1,500 going toward the fund. Jean and Ellen Seaman decided this year to give a gift of more than $72,000 to push the fund to $100,000. The scholarship is embarked for incoming Del Mar College freshmen. Five students receive a scholarship annually of up to $1,000. The applicants must be a GED graduate. The Siemens were non-traditional students themselves, and so they want GED graduates to have a chance to have good employment opportunities. An off-campus center has been opened in Alice by Del Mar College. An open house ribbon cutting by the Alice Chamber of Commerce took place May 2nd. The former National Guard arm Armory was renovated with a $2 million grant from the Texas Workforce Commission. The grant is for adult education and literacy. The center will offer classes in general education development known as GED, English as a Second Language, and Adult Basic Education. The programs are free of charge. The Alice Center is the second biggest location for Del Mar College offering services in adult education. 90 students were registered for classes in January. DMC, Dean of Continuing Education and Off-Campus Programs, Dr. Leonard Rivera, says future expansion is planned for the campus. Courses under consideration will be in healthcare. A team of Del Mar College college students 
whose work in biology research has again been recognized for its work. Biotechnology majors Daniel Nazer, Ray Prey, and John Ramirez did research involving bacteria. Because of their research, the trio will participate in an intensive science boot camp at Arlington, Virginia in June. The students will be immersed in critical thinking and will compete against nine other teams from other community colleges around the nation. The projects that the students will work on fall into three categories, energy and environment, maker to manufacturer, and security technologies. The three students were a part of a program titled the Howard Hughes Medical Institute Science Education Alliance Phage Hunters. The program is a one-year research mentoring course. That's this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Priscilla Witten. And I'm Alicia Nieto. Stay tuned for more Del Mar Now. I used to dream. I was growing my skilled workforce. Today, I am. Go from I dream to I am. Let Del Mar College train your staff with courses customized for your business or industry. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. For more information about Del Mar Now, log on to www.delmar.edu slash now. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions to help us improve Del Mar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. Our final guest is a biology major at Del Mar College and the 2017 Hall of Fame winner. He's a member of Phi Theta Kappa, the Biology and Health Science Club, and Student Government. His activities include Supplemental Instructional Leader, Campus Cleanup, and the Texas Honors Institute. Some of his honors are the President's List, the Dean's List, and the Dr. Joyce Friedman and Dr. Janice Friedman Scholarship for Biological Sciences. Please welcome Carl Matthew Valerdi. Hi, thanks for being with us today. It's an honor to be here. Well, congratulations again on this outstanding award that you received. Uh, how did you first find out that you were even nominated, and what was your reaction when you won? Well, uh, ours actually was a self-nomination, which is something that's kind of unique about this. Kudos to um, you. <laughs> my best friend was telling me, like, hey, we have nominations for Hall of Fame. You should probably submit an application. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give it. I'll try. Submit the paperwork, got everything I needed, and found out I won. I got in a couple weeks later, and this is like unreal experience I'm like that's phenomenal <laughs> to say the least well, aren't you glad you nominated yourself so i mean you read read like i i do this i'm i can do this <laughs> so yes. very impressive congratulations thank you uh, well, so you're a biology major and you don't hear biology majors very often um what do you want to do with this degree or why did you decide to become a biology major well um it stems back to when whole childhood <laughs> see so I started off watching a lot of science documentaries when I was young. Okay. Other kids are watching cartoons. I was watching documentaries on quantum mechanics, um, so astrophysics. So scientists at the heart. <laughs> yes. I picked biology because I remember learning about viruses in particular. And that caught my curiosity at first. I didn't really go into it. But then a couple of weeks later, my dog started to get sick. And I found out what caused it, CP, CPV2, K9 okay. parvovirus. Uh -huh. And from there, it just, um, it, lit the, it lit the match, to say, at least. It sparked your interest yes. and you wanted to. And all of a sudden, know. I was in the textbooks learning about viruses. Interesting. So uh, again, a, a real life experience kind of inspired you to go into this to, to this major. Yes. Well, in addition to being an outstanding student, you're involved in many organizations and activities, so that's quite impressive. Can you share an event or organization that really impacted you at Del Mar College? Well, they've all helped me. They've all been um, helped build up one another. So first thing is my role as a member of the biology club. That helped get my feet through the door and help me build up my confidence in myself and my leadership skills. And then soon after, I became an SI leader for Biology 1406, a historically difficult class at here at Del Mar. <laughs> and from there, I built my confidence even more. And then, of course, after that comes Phi Theta Kappa, mm -hmm. 
where I was able to find focus my leadership skills and my ability to be self-sufficient. And you're an officer. Yes, I'm an officer, yeah. And of course, finally, Student Government Association, which allows me to kind of be a representative for the students. Right, right. So it sounds like you have your hat, you know, in a lot of different areas. Um, yes. So that's that's quite impressive, actually. You know, a lot of students say, well, I don't have time for clubs. I don't have time for clubs. Or I don't know if I really want to do this. It sounds like a lot of work. What advice would you give a student who might be interested in doing something else about their experience at Del Mar College? Well, say so definitely go for it. It's just, it's a lot of time managing. You have okay. to be very efficient with how you manage your time. And like this is other, this past week, not this past week, a couple weeks ago, I had three tests, a paper, a five-page paper at that, and a presentation all in the same week, right after it, one after another. Oh, wow. So I planned my week, planned the times I needed to do, what I needed for what, and it was made it through the week, um, got everything done. So time management, number one. Yes, time management. Pick your priorities and mm -hmm. then go from there. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, what are your goals beyond uh, Del Mar College? You know, what, what is your dream? Because I, I guess it's not veterinarian science with biology, but what, tell us again a little bit about that. So my dream is to be a researcher with the Centers for Disease Control. Okay. Working with some of the world's most dangerous viruses. Wow. It can be very risky, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Okay, so a lot of more time management, but also probably some other practical safety things you've got yes. to think about as well, oh, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, well, so fast forward 10 years, how will you remember Del Mar College? Well, Del Mar, I always remember Del Mar as my second chance because I graduated high school in the bottom half of my graduating class, and I actually got rejected from the local university with an 85% accept acceptance rate. So that was kind of something that was a, really, a real bummer at the time. But I took a year off, came here to Del Mar, and from there just been one success after another. Oh, wow. That's quite a story, yeah. actually. Del Mar has taught me to believe in myself. Well, congratulations on that award, and congratulations to an outstanding future ahead of you. Thank you. We'd like to congratulate all six of our newly inducted Del Mar College Hall of Fame winners. We wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors. As always, if you have questions or comments about Del Mar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. We'll be back in August with our final show for the season. We we'll hope you'll tune in. Until then, I'm Amy Metz for Del Mar Now. Thanks for watching.